people have an idea, they come to you, they knock on your door, Keith. Is that how it works? Uh, email. <laughs> Don't <Please>. bug you. <laughs> no, no. Uh, by all means, like if you know where I'm at, I'm not opposed to conversation. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of concerns that we've diluted over the years, and with every social thing, there's a, a pendulum ebb and flow of, of getting things taken care of versus people not caring. Uh, and we try to, in a community association, try to get the people aware that being involved, for one, helps their needs. Like a lot of mm. folks, they, they just throw up their arms, they're, oh, nothing's going to change. Uh, you get that a lot. Mm. I mean, That's too you, bad. When, yeah, it is. It is really too bad <laughs> when, you, when you see uh, the votership as well. You know, folks have this, this feeling that they're not making a difference. Uh, and as a community association leader, I, I really hope that the interactions going into the neighborhood mm. are such that people start to feel like they're part of it again. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's uh, something that really, really needs to gain momentum. It's nice that the mayor is taking up the initiative of doing March Membership Month. Right. There's a, a whole lot of interest of a whole lot of people. Good. Like mm -hmm. Acadia's got 10,000 people and you want to talk about a lot of different folk. There's a lot of different folk there, and everybody has a little bit of something that they need done, uh, an interest that they'd like to explore, and, and sometimes the, the community association is a place to land, but conversely, the, so the community association is also a place that helps to advocate for other groups that may be able to better mm -hmm. uh, help that person or that group. Rebecca, he's on target. Absolutely, yeah. The community association, I think, is a great place to start. Like you said, people have interests, and they also may have something to offer. And so that oh, community yeah. association is a great place to meet both of those needs. Um, and then, like you said, get you in touch with other organizations, other community partners. Th they're a great hub for that community mm -hmm. for any anything, really, all the needs. Yeah, yeah. What are some of the issues that face the communities in our city right now? Or maybe Acadia specifically? Um, I hate to say it, but traffic. I mean, yeah. It's nothing that we can really uh, honestly do anything about. When you take a look at the, the construct of a community association, you talk about social and recreational and learning opportunities. And that is, that is clearly where we land as far as the municipality is concerned. The problem is, is that a number of uh, concerns around the city are involved with things that would be an administrative interaction or a councillor interaction, and we've, we've ballooned out as a city physically, but also within the construct of the city and its administration have also kind of gotten bigger, but not really gotten denser. Mm -hmm. So when we have all of these problems and at the pace at which society works today, yeah. it is really difficult to get ahead of the concerns that are outside of that. Mm -hmm. We do our best to offer the, the recreational opportunities, the social stuff. So why, is it, why did you want to get involved, Matt? Uh, you know, because I'm sure you, how long, how long have you been living in Acadia? Uh, probably coming up on 15 years-ish. Okay, so something, something triggered you to say, hey, wait a minute. Um, so, soapboxing again on the traffic bit. So, my, <laughs> my son out in Victoria, when he was 12, as part of a school project, they were to write a letter to somebody in some level of government. So, my son decided that he would write Rick McIver about being scared to death to cross the street in front of his dad's house to visit his buddy across the him. street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good for him. Hello, Dad. Time to, <laughs> time to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on. So uh, I uh, started interacting with the city and trying to find some calming measures, and uh, that evolved into being a traffic committee person, which evolved into getting involved with the other issues of the community. Uh, and then good for you. Today. And your son now? Uh, my son is happy out in Victoria. He lives like three blocks away from one of the better breweries there. It's pretty awesome. There you go. You can cross the street safely. <laughs> we have a video question for you. Now, I, and it's, it's kind of directed at all three of you, but we're going to try anyway. We're going to start with you, Keith. So we have a video question for you, and it's about money, I believe. So have a look and have a listen. Why should I buy a membership? I don't believe I'll get my money's worth. This young lady doesn't believe she'll get her money's worth, Keith. How do you respond to that? That, uh, like I said earlier, the, the intrinsic value doesn't tend to resonate with this society quite so much. So a lot of folks, when they take a look at buying a community association membership, they are looking for some form of return right away. Um, and I would encourage every community association to try to do something to that effect, engage your local businesses, get some sort of a discount scheme going on. Mm -hmm. That's what we're working towards more and more. 
so that when we do sell that membership to the person who is really looking at it from the standpoint of, uh, you know, yeah, community associations are okay, but guess what? I'm going to be able to get 5% off this place where I do this kind of business. Mm. I got a coupon for this. And I can come in here and uh, take my kids for a free skate, and there'll be you know hot dogs in the spring and a barbecue in the yeah. summer. It'd be worth things it. like that. Yeah, in the yeah. long run. Yeah. And and I think too, a lot of people see community associations within their four walls of the facility, offering the sports mm -hmm. programs, offering the the yoga classes. But there's so much more than that, and they're they're such an advocate for the community, and they work so hard behind the scenes as that voice for the community, working with local stakeholders and the city of Calgary and their councillor. And and so while you not you may not see that tangible result, there's so much going on behind the scenes. So it's a great way to support them. It's really affordable and it helps you have your say in what you want to see happen. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's about learning what they do beyond what you see, maybe, in the four walls. And, and like Keith said, a lot of communities are offering discounts um, for people who hold memberships. So there's, there's so much, there's so many benefits that not a lot of people know about. So this yeah. month is about educating them on on what those benefits yeah. are. And boiling it back down, Daryl hit the nail on the head. It's about being a neighbor and you got to start there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to your community association or it's building and, and you mm -hmm. know, making a relationship with the bricks and the mortar. It's about making the relationships with the people. And yes. if you know folks next to you and you know folks a couple of streets over, uh, that's where community begins. And it's, and it's as much about neighborhood as community association. And as, an association, I mean, we're, we're a semi-business construct. We we do we have to conduct ourselves in a business fashion. Whereas, if you know that there's something going on on your street and you need to have somebody advocate for you, then that's where your community association can definitely help. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Go ahead, Daryl. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think uh, if you see your community association <laughs> membership fee as an investment in your community and your neighbor and in your neighbors, I think that that's a great yes. way to view it. And, right. And so, for example, not so long ago, uh, the Dover Communis Community Association opened up its doors for a meeting of some of the the, the residents of the area who are really challenged by childcare. Mm. And so, having that free space to come in and address the issue and throw some ideas out and start um, really looking at a local issue, um, start building those blocks to address it. That, that's powerful smart. stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah, very smart. Really powerful stuff. Strength in numbers. Yeah.